Hi, I'm Ben Varellen, and uh, welcome to Varellen Amplifiers in Seattle, Washington. How did I get started making amplifiers? Well, about eight years of college, studying electrical engineering, which wasn't necessary to start making amplifiers, but I'd say that in combination with playing music in bands from being a, a young teenager, um, those two things sort of kind of culminated at a point where um, I kind of knew what I was doing and I had enough interest in doing it and I had enough people around me that were curious about what I was trying to do. My favorite amps, like the Sun 2000S is a favorite of mine, I like the Fender Twin, I like uh, I, li I like them all. I like the AC30 stuff too. I mean, they're all those all have their own characteristics, but they they all do a thing. As far as amps that are just one trick ponies, I think the old Marshall JMP stuff. That's like the classic rock sound in a box. I mean, it, it kind of just does what it does, but it's it's a beautiful sound and everybody knows it. My favorite right now is an amp that I just built yesterday. It's an amp that's uh, it's actually stereo. So it has um, one power supply that powers two separate amplifiers within the same box. And then there's two separate speaker cabinets. So the idea is you can split the signal stereo, but have one brain that has all the power and all the controls. I want one for myself. As far as the whole dang thing, actually, guitar amplifiers, that was the amp that, um, you know, the, the 59 Bassman, couple small tweaks and it's a JTM 45 Marshall amp and then that's the uh, you know the predecessor to all the JMPs and eventually the JCM 800 which is what every single high gain amplifier you see or just about every guitar amplifier um, models all their tricks after that circuit so it all goes back to that 59 basement yeah The basics, the basics is just gain staging. If you want the loudest, cleanest thing, then you want to turn up the things on the outside of the amp, on the output end of the amp, and then you want to turn down the things on the input side of the amp, because you crank things up on the input, and they're going to crunch up along the way. And So, I mean, just juggling between those two things um, is kind of the most inherent thing in guitar amplifiers, which are designed to distort. And so kind of dictating what kind of distortion you get and how to get it, I guess that's that's where having some knowledge can become handy. Um, things like EQing on the way into a, a stage that's going to overdrive, what that sounds like versus EQing on the output of a stage that's overdriven. One of the guitar tones that I really fell in love with and still makes me giddy when I hear it is a band from Olympia called Carp. On their third full length, the self-titled record has what any respectable engineer would probably agree is one of the worst guitar tones you've ever heard, but it sounds so incredible with that band. There's no right answer, there's no perfect guitar tone. It's just, um, you know, whatever is appropriate for the particular situation. 